Hello everybody, welcome back to Healthy Foodie Girl, or if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm Shauna, Healthy Foodie Girl. And I'm Ella, Healthy Foodie Girl Mini. And on this channel, we do easy, delicious, and healthy recipes. That's right, that we know you're going to love, so you're definitely going to want to stay tuned. Today we are bringing you the ultimate guacamole recipe lightened up. It's super delicious and creamy, it's perfect on tacos, salads, and of course with chips. This is definitely our favorite guacamole recipe and we hope it becomes yours too. Let's get into this video, but first make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already and hit the dinger, the little bell, because it'll give you notifications when our next video comes out because we don't want you to miss a thing. Now let's get into this video. These are all the ingredients that you're going to need for your delicious guacamole. First, we're going to start with the jalapeno. You're going to go ahead and cut the jalapeno and take out the insides of the jalapenos and the seeds. That can make it extra hot, and we don't want it extra hot, we just wanna add some flavor. We're going to use half of the jalapeno in this recipe. If you'd like, you could always use the whole jalapeno, but we really liked it with half. It added the perfect amount of flavor without overpowering the guacamole. Continue finely chopping your jalapeno and then you're going to place it into your bowl. Next, slice the lime and we're going to take half of the lime and squeeze that into the bowl with the jalapeno. We only used half of the lime in this recipe and it was just perfect. After that, we are going to take one clove of garlic. Crush the garlic and add that into your mixture of jalapeno and lime as well. Now we have a half a teaspoon of salt. We like to use pink Himalayan salt, but you can use whatever kind that you like. Next, you're going to dice an onion, either white onion or sweet onion. We've diced an onion and used one half of a cup of a sweet onion in this recipe. Now we're moving on to our cilantro. You wanna make sure to take the cilantro off of the stems because they are bitter. We are going to use a half a cup of cilantro in this recipe and you want to finely chop it. This is the consistency that you want for your cilantro. Once you have finely chopped your cilantro, add it to your bowl. Now we are going to take three Roma tomatoes. Slice the Roma tomatoes in half and remove the seeds. After you've removed all of the seeds from your tomatoes, finely chop them into little pieces. Finish chopping your tomatoes and add them to the bowl. Thoroughly combined all of the ingredients in the bowl and it's going to be ready for the next step with your avocados. Take your two medium sized avocados and cut it in half. I like to serrate the inside of the avocado into little chunks just to make it easier to mash. Put that into the bowl and continue to do both of your avocados. Once both of your avocados are in little chunks and in your separate bowl, you're going to mash them. It's so much easier to mash them before you add the other ingredients. So this helps to make the avocados creamy. You can use a fork to do this, or you can also use a potato masher. Works really well if you have one of those. Once your avocados are all mashed and creamy, you're going to add one fourth of a cup of zero fat Greek yogurt into the avocados. Make sure to combine this thoroughly. You want to have it thoroughly combined, super creamy before you add the rest of your ingredients. Now take the ingredients from the other bowl and combine those into the guacamole. You're going to put it in and mix it all thoroughly and you will have the most delicious guacamole you've ever had. This is the ultimate lightened up guacamole. We've added a little bit of cilantro on top and it's perfect with tacos, tostadas, salads, and of course chips. Make sure to check out our skinny margarita. We also have a delicious queso dip that would be delicious with your guacamole. For lunch or dinner, our Caesar salad is not to be missed, as well as these cheesy, delicious enchiladas. You can find these on our videos here or at our website at healthyfoodiegirl.com. We really hope you enjoyed this week's video, and if you did, give us a thumbs up. And make sure to check out our website, healthyfoodiegirl.com, where you can print the recipe. Absolutely. As well as while you're there, sign up for our email list because we deliver those healthy recipes straight to your inbox every week, and we don't want you to miss a thing.
Cheers to you and keep cooking. We'll see you next time at Healthy Foodie Girl.